Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of Journey of Wrestling. If you guys didn't catch that last episode, we booked NXT TakeOver New York to a positive reaction. So make sure you go back and watch it. The entire playlist is linked in the description. Also, before we get started, guys, can you do two things for me? First, hit that like button. If you're enjoying my content, it does help me out a lot. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so you do not miss an episode whenever I upload. And without further ado, guys, let's get right back into Journey of Wrestling. All right, starting it back here. Uh, last couple weeks of NXT TV did not go great. We ended up losing a lot of fans. Um, but gained a decent amount of them back at the last pay-per-view NXT TakeOver New York. So I am hopeful for these next coming pay-per-views that things go my way. We're not going to get mad. <laughs> and we do things good. That's the AX3 guarantee. All right. <laughs> Starting off here. Um, so I would like to check staleness right off the bat. Will Ospreay and Tony Storm are getting pretty stale already, even though uh, that's already been two months. Okay. So I will probably bl blow that off pretty soon. Probably at the next pay-per-view. Um, I got two weeks of NXT TV here. Yeah. So it's probably, I'll probably bl uh, blow that off at the next pay-per-view um but for now let me put them here and get her to demand a not dimmond demand a title shot book it boom first seg already booked nobody's booked that fast in their life okay i don't know what i'm saying um let's get big ups to alexa bliss and rhea ripley by giving them a contract signing because those have always been looking good in my controls what it's not what i wrote um those oh god freaking con con t contract there we go click change it to controls again contract click it done don't even don't even look back um so that'll be good uh put that here so yeah the contract signings have already always been treating me well so i will continue on with that uh, singles match. I don't need to boost Adam Cole versus Kevin Owens that much. You know who I do need to boost, though, is Randy Orton versus Killian Dane. So, they're both heels, though. And, okay, what else can I boost, then? Beefy Boys versus Team 5 Star. Are they baby faces? Are, ba are Beefy Boys baby faces? Are the Beef Boys baby face? That's all I want to know. No, 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 no. Beefy Boys are face. Okay. That works for me. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, three on three. We are going to go Adam Cole. Beefy boys. Where are they? Braun. Braun, 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 Braun. Where's Braun? Is he in the main event? Oh, he is. And Bigathan E versus Randall Keith. No. What am I talking about? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Versus Kevin Owens. But they're both faces. Yeah, screw screw this. I screwed up. I screwed up. I'm screwing up bad. Yo, 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 what's happening? Okay, let's not mess this up. Let's not mess this up. Who's in a heel face rivalry right now? Is anybody in a heel face rivalry? Shayna Baszler and Starlight Kit. And I don't want to put Will. O I want to put Will Osprey is already taken care of. There. Okay. No, but they're. Dude, my booking is all over the place with faces and heels. Okay, I can't do this. Um. Oh no. You know what I can't do? Yes, I know what I exactly what I can do. Tag team. Yeah, Beefy Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, Big E, Braun Strowman, and Starlight Kid versus Shayna Baszler. Uh, Mr. Uh, 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 Johnny Gargano and Roderick. Very strong. How does that sound? Book that. Lineman boost. Two rivalries. Get him out of there. We've got four segs left. Things are looking good. Okay. Uh, segment. I'm going to book them in a one-on-one. -on -one. No, I'm not. I'm going to book them in a triple threat. Boom. You didn't even see it coming. Um. Whoa, whoa. Why is this here twice? I'm so confused. Okay, Adam Cole versus Kevin Owens. And put B Priestley in the mix because she has not done anything since she lost the women's championship. Beautiful triple threat match. Um, I not for the NXT World Championship. Remove the title, please. Um, that is looking good to me. 
Um, in addition, who is not um, on the card yet? Killian Day and Randy Orton, I believe. Yeah, they're here. I do that. They're there. Yeah, I think Kevin Owens. Sorry, I think Randy Orton and Killian Dan are the only ones not booked. So let me get this. I want to get this rivalry up a bit more. Let's go segments. Um, feud. Let's some, get something with a lot of feud points. Uh, there's like smack talk or some crap that gives a lot of feud points. Not home invasion. That screwed me over last time. One in a course. But why? Let's do this. Smack talk. Where are they? Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. Sorry, I keep saying Kevin Owens because <laughs> I was used to their rivalry from before. Okay, I think every rivalry is booked now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, perfect. All the rivalries are booked. Let's get some Alistair Black promo. Um, he's a heel, right? Um, let's just do Heat promo. Yeah, let's just do Heat promo. Um, just to get Alistair on the card because he is the Money in the Bank winner now. Oops, I forgot to be on singles. Whereas Ali Esther, awesome he promo. Book that, book that. Okay. Should I do an event hype? Don't think I need it. And I don't want to lose stars here anymore. I don't need to boost the main event. It's pretty strong. Okay, I think this is looking good. I don't think I need to book anything else. We have one segment left. Let's on fill it up because we because we're tempted to <laughs> uh starting off the night we have a heat promo by alistair black coming out and saying i am mr money in the bank you better respect my butt uh, moving on to smack talk we got randy orton and killian dane um we have too many segments in a row here oh god we have two matches on this card okay i need to book one more match i can do that can i where is yeah let's try this rhea ripley sorry randy orton and Alexa Bliss, Killian Dane, and Rhea Ripley. Why not? Oh, that was a fatal four way. I can make it a fatal four way. That's not a big deal. Nah, nah, that's that's getting complicated. Let's make it a. We have so we have already have a tag team match. That's fine. No one's gonna be like, oh, I already saw a tag team match tonight. I don't want to look at another tag team match. Shut up. Just watch it. You like it, okay? Uh, four main eventers. Beautiful. No. Here's what I want to do. I want to do Rhea and Randy and then Dane and Bliss because I want Rhea and Randy to win and or sorry I want Randy Orton to win because I don't want Dane winning anything more and then I also want Rhea Ripley to win because she has no wins and she needs some street cred you know perfect so now this balances out uh segs and matches a little bit more uh Yep, yep, yep. This looks good. Okay. I can't add anything else anyway. Uh, so yeah, he promo Alistair Black. Uh, he's saying I'm Mr. Money in the Bank. Uh, moving on, we got talking smack between Randy Orton and Killian Dane, hopefully boosting their feud a bit. Biggie Braun Strowman and Starlight Kid versus Roderick Strong, Johnny Gargano, and Shayna Baszler. Uh, moving that along. Two feuds there. Uh, we got Tony Storm and Will Ospreay. Um, Tony Storm is coming out to demand another title shot against Will Ospreay, which will lead them into their last match. Oh, God. And then Ran uh, Rhea Ripley and Randy Orton versus Killing Dane and Alexa Bliss. Killing off two feuds there. Hopefully, Randy and Dane's rivalry will not pull this one down too much. Uh, and then they'll have a contract signing. Ooh, I don't like the way this is ordered. Okay. Oh, because I don't want them to have a match and then have a contract signing after. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Here is what we are gonna do, dog. Oh my god. What do I do? Can this be the main event then? No. Keep that main. Keep this here. Bring that there. Bring this up here. Oh no. It's so high, I don't wanna... Okay. God, I'm, I'm mixing up everything now. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Contract signing, then they have the match after. That's fine. That works with me. Um, might be a little overexposed, but that's fine. Um, and then, yeah, contract signing between Rhea Ripley and Alexa Bliss. And then the main event, we've got B Priestley versus Kevin Owens versus Adam Cole, baby. Um, and let's start off this show. See what happens. 
Alistair Black in a ring for a promo. Alistair, Va Alistair Black. Alistair Black vented about being ashamed to perform in this city. That's very nice of you, Alistair. And a three and a half. Okay, not great, but not horrible. Uh, moving on. Tony Storm's coming out of the ring to next. Oh, God. Okay, three and three quarters. Not bad. Um, Tony Storm called out Will Ospreay, boosting the rivalry a bit. Okay, that's good. The rivalry went up. That's all. That's all that really matters. Um, and then here wanted this team to win. Justify another title shot and continue to push, push, continue to push Baszler. Um, okay, three and three quarters didn't really do anything for either of the rivalries. Shane Baszler said, "Get over." Exactly what I wanted. Uh, moving on. Randy Orton and Dane are both in the ring to talk. Randy Orton and will dominate Dane. Perfect. Uh, Randy Orton landing some serious digs at Killian Dane. Three stars. Um, is it? Okay. Is it when I make a feud too one-sided that people just don't like it? I guess that makes sense. Because like people are not just going to want to watch the same thing over and over of some the same person winning. I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe uh, next week on NXT TV, I'll make Killian Dane win something and see if that helps boost the feud a little bit. Okay, moving on. Um, ooh, Starlight Kid is starting to lose uh, popularity, which is fine. I don't mind burying her. <laughs> moving on, we got Alexa Bliss and Rhea Ripley sitting across the table in the ring for a contract signing. Oh, once again, have Rhea win this, which did nothing for her for some reason. But gave us a very good uh, event and boosted their rating. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, four and a three quarters star there. Um, moving on in the main event, uh, Rhea Ripley and Randy Orton versus Killian Day and Alexa Bliss. And I want Rhea Ripley and Randy Orton. A lot of people pulling double duty today. Maybe I should have diversified my roster a bit more and had a couple others play. But anyway, let's have this uh, win here. Three and a half stars. Um, helped with helped with Rhea and Alexa's feud did not help with Dane and Randy's um, Randy Orton got over with the fans boosting his attributes perfect that sounds good to me continue on here um, and then we will have Kevin Owens win this so he can have another title shot okay four and a half stars good and boost a rivalry a tiny bit which is fine um, I might blow their feud off by the end of the thing. Uh-oh. Oh, be a Priestley's thing improved. I thought it was going to get even worse, but that's good. It improved. Okay. Uh, not much to talk about this show. Just kind of like an overall not bad show. Uh, kind of all over the place build, but at least uh, we got some good uh, matches out of it. I'm predicting probably a four-star show overall. Um, I think that's fair to say four stars. What do we got? Four stars. 46 bucks. Sounds good. No complaints in this territory. If we lost fans, I'm going to freak. Okay, we gained 1,000 fans. Monday Night Raw. Holy crap. <laughs> Monday Night Raw had a two and three quarter star show, which I think is the worst show anyone's ever done in this freaking universe. And they lost 30.5 thousand fans. Wow. Okay, sucks to be Raw, apparently. We were the fourth most watched show this week, um, which I might have wanted to be higher, but any of everyone else gained big fans uh, in New Japan and SmackDown. Actually, SmackDown's doing very well. Uh, fans are not where I want them to be. Uh, uh, and the rating is the same. Okay, that's it for that show. <laughs> Let me check if there's anyone on the indies um, that I can scoop up. Leva Bates. She's a jabroni. No, thank you. No jabronis on my roster. Let's book the next show here. Okay. So, let's see what we're going to do this Sunday at the pay-per-view. So, this is absolutely going to blow off this Sunday. Tony Storm versus Will Ospreay. Randy Orton and Dane is probably going to also blow off this Sunday. Beefy Boys versus Five Star can probably stretch it out for one more month. But I was hoping to kind of transition with Team 5 Star out of the tag team division and kind of um, put them as main eventers. But there's no rush for that. We got a couple feuds going. Starlight Kid versus Shayna Baszler might stretch it for one more month. 
Uh, Rhea and Ripley. Rhea and Ripley. Alexa Bliss and Rhea Ripley. Um, probably blow off. Maybe, depending on what happens in the next couple of days. And then Kevin Owens and Adam Cole are still going strong. Um, so what did I want to do today? I wanted to have Dane win something to see if that promotes the feud a bit. I don't want their staleness to go up too much. So I will do... Let's see what they have in their feuds. They already did Smack Talk. I don't want to do Home Invasion. That freaking screwed me last time. Uh, Dangerous Attack, no. Bodybuilding Contest, no. Why can't I do a talk show? I don't want to do a talk show. Uh, feud pack. Let's do a feud package. Yeah, that just boosts it overall. Right? What did this do? Difficulty. Oh. <gasps> Depending on how well the people match up with these things is how well the thing does. Whatever. Title disrespect. Let's try it. Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens. Um... Did I say Kevin Owens again? I meant Killian Dane. Let's do let's just do the biggest tag team match we've ever seen in our entire lives. Freaking um our two top feuds, Adam Cole um and Alexa uh, yeah versus Rhea Ripley and Kevin Owens and Rhea Ripley is now a main eventer. Awesome. And Kevin Owens is way on fire. Book that in Z Main. Um we don't have many segments this show, so we need to be smart about it. Let's just book these two in a one-on-one -on -one match. Good alignment. I'll add a gimmick even. I'll make this all out. Hair versus hair. <laughs> I don't really hair versus care. Um, moving on. <laughs> hair versus hair match. Don't know why I'm doing that, but I'm gonna leave it. Uh, this I don't. This is getting stale. Quick. This is not what I wanted to do. Delete. I wanted to have them in a segment, which they have not done already. Um, just a promo battle. That's fine. It doesn't seem like anything's really working to get their feud up anyway. Um, especially since it's the last show before the pay-per-view. I'm going to blow it off anyway, so who really cares? Um, and then we have a tag, the tag team, right? Did we do the tag team? Nope. Uh, this one. Uh, fight. That's fine. Just do a fight. Just freaking fight, okay? Just, just don't even talk. Just fight. Um, anyway. <laughs> And we will, uh, what have we not booked? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, everything is booked. All the all the championship matches are booked, I believe. Or all the feuds, I mean, are booked. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So let's just do a good old-fashioned one-on-one match. <laughs> Why would we not? Um, Alistair Black. Who can feed Alistair? Probably Riddle. Or Alex Shelley. Yeah, still pushing black, so let's do that. Um, just to get them over a little bit more, click edit button, add a feud. I do not want to add a feud, and I will not put the money in the bank on the line. No, I, d I deleted it. Freaking Meshuggah Nuts. Remove title, there it go. Okay, this is looking good, right? Promo battle, Alice Black for Alice. Okay. Uh, feud match, 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 okay. And we're out of, we're out of, uh, we're out of segments anyway, so this works out well. So, starting off tonight, we have a promo battle between Tony Storm and Will Ospreay. Just putting them on the card. We're going to blow this off this Sunday because it is not going well. Uh, moving on, we got Alex Shelley versus Alistair Black. Just in a regular match to get them both on the card, or to get Alistair Black some bonus points. Uh, BP Boys and Team 5 Star are going to fight. Why not? Shayna Baszler versus Starlight Kid in a hair versus hair match. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. I've never done a hair versus hair match, so we'll see if that gives me a good boost or not. A uh, title disrespect segment between Randy Orton and Killian Dane. Should I put this lower? Yeah, let me trade these. Let me trade those. Uh, and then in the main event, we have uh, Adam Cole and Alexa Bliss versus Rhea Ripley and Kevin Owens, which should be a 150,000 star match. That's what I'm predicting. So let's move on here uh, to see what happens in this beautiful NXT event that should not make me upset. Okay, Will Ospreay, guaranteed to expose the worst of Tony Storm. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I said okay before I looked at the star rating. Um, two and three quarter star. This feud needs to end, and it needs to end quick. I'm so freaking sick and tired of these two 
underperforming. Uh, three star, three uh, bonus points to their feud. Continuing on here, um, Alistair Black versus Ale 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 Alex Shelley. Um, how much does a uh, squash match reduce the stars? Yeah, too much. Um, so remove finish. Let's just have Alistair Black win here. Perfect, lively start. Uh, extra three quarters of a star there, and they got uh, four and a quarter star. Not bad. Moving on, Hammer Crew is live somewhere outside the arena with Killian Day, and Killian Day has Randy Orton's title in his hand and asks him to come get it, but ends up throwing it in the lake. Okay, I didn't want to throw it in the lake. I just want Killian Dane to say this was my title and you've ruined it or something. Um, but he threw it in the lake, but it gave us five stars. Okay, so Dane won something now and it got five stars. So I think what was happening is I was doing too much one-sided Randy Orton and nobody was enjoying it because Randy Orton just kept winning everything. So now, and their thing went up by seven. Okay, so that's good. That went well, but it, it kind of devalued the North American Championship. Um, which I did not want to do. Um, okay, moving on. Hair versus hair match. Shayna Baszler, once again, going to pull this out. Um, ooh, added 19 to their thing. People really like that, and she's bald now. <laughs> um, uh, so now they have an even hotter feud. Maybe they'll have a bit more room for staleness and uh, go a bit longer. Thought popped into my head. Maybe now I can do the Fatal 4-Way and add Shayna Baszler and Starlight Kid into that. Might be something to explore at the next pay-per-view. Who knows? Uh, continuing on here, uh, Camera Crew is with a lot. Sorry, is live with a fight between the BV Boys and Team Five Star. Two of them went through an intense brawl backstage, fighting each other all around the whole locker room. Uh, okay, three and a half stars, but did boost the rivalry up a lot. Okay, so we're getting a lot of boosts in the rivalries this week, so that's good. Right before the pay per view. Um, oh crap, I haven't been looking down here. Hair versus hair match effect decrease for this event. So the kid got her hair forcefully shaved off. Okay, that doesn't sound nice. Um, Mass vs. Career Feud, Starlight Kid, and Shane because it became hot, boosting its chance to have hot matches and segments. Beautiful. New Challenger Feud between Team 5 Star and Beefy Boys became hot, boosting its chances. Awesome. Roderick Strong um, increases overness. Uh, um, so did Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano got over with the fans. Perfect. All looking good to me. Just this first segment between Will Ospreay and Tony Storm, again, is holding things back a little but whatever let's continue on uh main event rhea ripley and kevin owens versus adam cole and alexa bliss let's have rhea ripley and kevin owens pick up a win here full of action extra three quarters of a star uh a little bit of a boost to each of their matches not bad that's okay um and a four and a half star match okay i think we are pulling another four star show here if i'm not mistaken did anything else happen down here um <laughs> Adam Cole and Alexa Bliss and Rhea Ripley and Kevin Owens put on a hot match, boosting their overness by 4% each. A lot of viewers tuned in. Awesome. This has such, been such a positive episode, guys. I usually start yelling at this point, but hey, okay, four and a quarter. Good. I only gained 57 bucks, so that's that's a little bit worrisome um, compared to what other shows ended up doing then. Let's see what they did. Uh, okay, 10,000 fans in the pocket. Yes. Okay, so I think we made up the deficit that we were in. I feel like we were at 850,000 fans, but we're only at 824 now. So I don't know where we lost so many because I know the last like two weeks we lost like 20,000, but that doesn't equal that many when we gain some back. Anyway, um, AW Dynamite came first, um, gaining 4,000 fans. SmackDown gained 18,000 fans. We gained 10,000 Um New Japan gained 2,000. We are stardom. And then once again, Raw at the very bottom with another two and a half star show. <laughs> Losing 32,000 fans. I don't know what's going on with Monday Night Raw. I guess it's reflective of what's happening in real life. <laughs> um, let's just, I just want to check their show. Okay, sorry. Let me just check Raw's show and see. Oh, let me check my emails actually. I want to remind you that I still have the following goals for your current year. Win one wrestler of the year award. Okay, so the year hasn't ended. How am I supposed to win a Wrestler of the Year award before the end of the year? So shut up. Complete all the gold and I'll give you a bonus reward. Okay. Gimmick change. Due to hair loss, a gimmick change boost is available for Starlight Kid. If you change her gimmick before her next appearance, boost will be added to her new gimmick and change, and the change will be free. Hmm. Okay, before I do that, so we have NXT in, a, in your house coming up next. NXT TakeOver in your house. Let us check, um, oh, not menu, company events. I want to see how bad Monday Night Raw is and why it was so bad. 
cryptic what the crap so they had th only three segments on the show which is weird because it's a three hour show right but demand a title shot which was great fight between nick jackson and ken shamrock four stars great and then cryptic threat with rocky romero and it had zero stars <laughs> Okay, what happened last week then? Again, with the cryptic threat with Ken Shamrock. That's what's pulling down all their stars. I don't know why they keep doing a cryptic threat in the main event. I don't know. Oh, and another one here. Bottle bodybuilding contest did not hit well either. Anyway. Uh, so clearly Monday Night Raw is not our biggest competition. It seems like AEW and SmackDown have been besting us every month. So look, guys, um, we got the pay-per-view coming up and... I think we can do some real damage there. We got two rivalries over 100, um, one rivalry almost over 100, one that's almost 50, and then that crappy Will Ospreay one that's going to get blown off. And then we got a, a like a 60 tag team. I think we could pull out a really good show coming out at NXT TakeOver in your house. So I really hope you guys are going to stay tuned for that next episode coming out very soon. And in the meantime, thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. It does help me out a lot. Also, right underneath me here, there is a subscribe button. If you guys want to click that to get notified whenever I release videos so you do not miss one. And over on the right, if you guys want to keep watching some more, there's some more videos there. Thanks so much, guys.